Hey guys, it's SuperGenG88. I'm bringing you guys a new segment this week on my channel called Archetype of the Week. This week I'll be discussing Watts. Watts are light attribute thunder type. Today I'll be showing you the cards that I think are key uh, to a winning strategy in a Watt deck. First card is Watt Fox. Watt Fox um, is a two star tuner. If this card is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, your opponent cannot special summon a monster or activate spells, traps, their effects, or monster card effects for the rest of the turn. One of the nice things about this is he doesn't have to go to the graveyard for his effect to activate. It only needs to be destroyed on the field. Next card I want to talk about is Watt Lemur. Uh, when Watt Lemur is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, uh, your opponent cannot conduct their battle phase during their next turn. The next guy is uh, the kind of Ember's Blade or Recruiter of the deck. It's Watt Dragonfly. If this card uh, is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, you can special summon one Watt monster from your deck. So he kind of helps you to toolbox what you need if it's a... The next card I want to talk about is Watt Beta. Watt Beta is another tuner. Uh, when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, your opponent discards one card of their choice. I don't know if I'd really be using this uh, card in this format with Dark Worlds running around, um, because that could put some pretty big monster or destruction effects into play that you don't need against your tiny little Watts. The next card I want to talk about is Watt Squirrel. You can attack twice during your battle phase. Any monster that battles Watt Squirrel loses its effects permanently. So if your opponent has uh, Stardust um, and you have no way of getting rid of it um, because you know it can negate your Dark Hole or your Mirror Force, you can run Watt Squirrel into it. Stardust will lose its effect, then feel free to Dark Hole, Mirror Force, Torrential, whatever, without repercussion from Stardust. Uh, it's kind of a neat card, and uh, kind of unique to the Archetype. The next card is Watt Woodpecker. Watt Woodpecker can attack twice during each battle phase. Um, any monster that battles this card cannot change its battle position. Um, Watt Woodpecker is a definitely a candidate for the Watts uh, equip spell, Watt Cube, which I'll discuss in just a minute. Watt Pheasant is another direct attacker. Um, when he inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can select one face-up monster on the field and remove it from play until the end of the turn. So he helps you uh, get rid of larger monsters, um, so either your synchros can attack, or other monsters on your side of the field that don't have the direct attack ability can get their pokes in. The next card I want to discuss is Watch Giraffe. Watch Giraffe uh, can attack your opponent directly, and when he does, uh, deal battle damage to your opponent. Uh, your opponent can't activate spells, traps, their effects, or monster card effects until the end of the turn, so it's pretty neat. And then uh, recently released Watt is a Watt Cobra. I really like this card because not only can he attack your opponent directly, but when he does deal damage to your opponent directly, you can add a Watt monster from your deck to your hand, so um, you know you can get lots of pluses with this card uh, if you can keep it on the field and protect it and also set up uh, some other combos, uh, which I'm about to discuss, with Watt Hopper. Watt Hopper is a level 1, um, 0 attack, 0 defense, and uh, your opponent cannot select another face of Watt monster as an attack target or target them with card effects. So when you have two of them on the field, um, you know, they, your opponent is very limited in the way that they can get rid of it. They either have to 
dark hole or uh, torrential tribute or uh, black rose. Um, so what I'm going to implement in my deck uh, so that they can't break the lock is uh, my body is a shield. Um, I think a card works not only against uh, all the big destruction, um, you know, it also works against you know judgment dragon, mirror force, bottomless trap hole. Um, you know, unfortunately you can't get around uh, a solemn warning with it, but uh, it does fend off a lot of the other cards that are out there in this format. Um, my deck is most definitely going to be focusing on getting these guys out as fast as possible. Uh, one of the ways to do that is one for one. Also using the effect of uh, Watt uh, Dragonfly to special summon one to the field and then play one hopefully. Um, or use one for one on that turn and then making sure I back it up with uh, some form of protection. So, the Watts do have a few spells um, in their arsenal. Um, one of them is Watt Key. Uh, it really fits in with their theme uh, because it allows your face up Watt monsters to attack your opponent directly for one turn. Um, and that's alright. Um, I don't think I'll run it in my deck, but um, if you got a lot of protection to back up your Watts, um, it's not a bad idea. The other card is their equip card, and that's Watt Cube. Um, Watt Cube uh, can only be equipped to a Thunder type monster, um, Thunder King Ryo, hint, hint, or any of your direct attack Watts are good targets. It gains 100 attack for each Thunder type monster in your graveyard. You can send um, Watt Cube to the graveyard to have one face up Thunder type monster you control gain 1000 attack, and that gain is permanent. So, uh, it makes for a really nice attack boost. Um, some of the ways I would uh, protect my Watts um, are Magic Cylinder, um, because if they got a beastie creature on the field, you can Magic Cylinder, it negates their attack, and it deals damage to them. So, you know, you're free to uh, take out more of their life points next turn with your direct attackers. You don't have to worry about their big creatures. Um, I'd also run uh, possibly some chainable traps, like Waboku and Threatening Roar. The nice thing about Waboku is it works with um, Watt Squirrel, so that uh, Watt Squirrel doesn't take damage, and you can negate a bunch of their creatures' attacks um, with him. So it's really nice. Also, if you know, with MST and Heavy Storm, you can chain Threatening Roar on your turn or Waboku, and um, you know, keep your monsters on the field a lot longer. The other card I'd run in there to get rid of some of the larger threats uh, would be Dimensional Prison. Um, it's a great card, removes one of their attacking monsters uh, from the game, so goodbye Stardust, and uh, hello Direct Attack Watts. <laughs> um, one of the cards I was not able to get at the sneak peek <laughs> was the new uh, trap Watt Trap card. It's called Watt Cancel. I'm going to use Psalm Warning to describe what the card does. Um, instead of paying 2,000 life points um, to negate the summon, uh, you just discard one Watt monster from your hand to the graveyard um, to negate the summon, uh, normal summon or special summon of uh, one of your opponent's monsters. It's also a counter trap, so it's like the Watts' own solemn warning without life point payment. So that's kind of neat. Um, some other cards that are tech in the deck are Honest. Honest um, obviously works on all your light monsters that you're playing. Um, if you don't have one of your, uh, you know, if they MST or, uh, you know, freshly set threatening roar or something uh, at, and during your end phase, then you'll at least still have some protection. Um, for your monsters. Um, another card I'm thinking about doing is, since I am running Honest, probably run uh, Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk, you know, can get out your uh, Watt King Cobra, uh, you know, direct make your direct attack and then, you know, grab your um, either Hopper, Tuner, or um, other Watt monster your hand that you need at that time. Um, so with running two of them, uh, I would also run two Junk Synchron because he can pick up 
your lemur, or your or your hopper, or your um, what uh, dragonfly synchro for five, or if you already have a level four uh, watt on the field, use Drunk Synchron, pick up your level two, and then uh, sync for nine for Trishula. So it makes for some interesting plays, and then of course with us running two Summer Monks and at least two Drunk Synchrons, uh, you'd run BLS uh, Honest for game. Uh, so uh, let me know what you guys think of my new segment. I'll try to post a deck list in the description below. Um, please, again, rate, comment, and like this video.